this kind of drug, specifically this drug therapy, is likely to transfer to humans because monkeys have a huge, huge amount of commonalities with us, almost the same biology. And such studies are currently ongoing. They are in stage two clinical trials for this drug with humans now, which is like, uh, Scott, how do we get into this clinical trial, man? I'm sick. I'm dying out here, baby. Sign me up. Look at me in my no muscle mass. I need help. Please, Regeneron, please. Somebody email me from Regeneron, please. These trials are currently ongoing. There are multiple other pharmaceutical laboratories, mega corporations that are working around the clock on similar treatments because we now know for years that semaglutide and trisepatide and soon to be retatrotide and all these weight loss drugs are phenomenal for helping people lose weight, but they don't really help you retain muscle. And now a lot of people are losing weight and they're getting skinny and they have less muscle and they're getting all these health effects and all these cosmetic effects they don't like. This is a known problem to a pharmaceutical industry. And now a ton of labs are rushing to get you the most advanced muscle growth drugs that they can make. And already they are in research. The combo therapy, that triple triple threat of semaglutide, trivagramab, and gratismab on fat loss and muscle gain are what we would expect with semaglutide plus a really solid dose of mega steroids for someone who's never taken steroids before, except with zero androgenic side effects, no hair growth, no voice deepening, no aggression, no bad lipid profiles, none of that stuff.